हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन दिस इज सेशन 14 इन द एसक्यूएल प्लेलिस्ट एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक व्हिच इज रो नंबर सो रो नंबर इज अ फंक्शन इन एसक्यूएल एंड इज वेरी वेल यूज्ड इन इंडस्ट्री एंड इवन आस्क्ड इन इंटरव्यूज सो लेट्स सी हाउ टू यूज इट एंड हाउ डू वी सी द रिजल्ट्स नाउ इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव सीन हाउ टू क्रिएट अ एम्प्लॉय टेबल with first name last name age salary location and inserting some records i will still keep the same script handy so that we are building just on top of it now let me write a query so you understand that we have a table employee table and we will be inserting some records let me write a query select so let me turn on the case select let's say first name comma last name okay and salary right select first name last name salary now let me show you how to use the row number first of all these three columns were directly there in this table first name last name and salary okay now i'm showing you how to use the row number function what i will do is i will say row underscore number and i have to give this starting uh, or opening braces and closing brace so we are giving this function over remember in the last session we have given a aggregation function here and then we said over clause same way we are doing row number over and then we have to give the order clause order by salary let's say desc i am saying i want to sort the salaries in descending order and the salary which is the highest that will come at the top but i want to give it number 1 the salary which is second highest i want to give it number 2 and so on that is what i am trying to say that first sort it or order it based on salaries in descending order and then start assigning the row numbers from 1 onwards this is how this works and then we say from which table employee table let me pick all of this let me pick all of this and try running it i am still using the one compiler.com okay you can see i am creating a table inserting some statements and then i am printing some normal columns and then using row number over order by salary descending remember this row number cannot work when you are not using order by because what's the whole point of giving some numbering when you are not ordering it as simple as that so order by is mandatory when we are talking about row number so this is how we have to use let me try running it and show you the results so you can see first name last name salary is 30000 and one so the highest salary you can see is having the row number as one the second highest salary is having the row number 2 the third highest salary row number 3 and then 4 5 6 and 7 that's how it is so basically it has ordered it first and then it has assigned the row numbers starting from 1 right so now if i have to find i want to find the fifth highest salary let's say my problem statement is i want to find the fifth highest salary what can i do i can even do something like this i can say so i will copy this so i am just saying my problem statement is find the fifth highest salary it this can be done with many approaches i am not saying this would be the only approach but i am telling you that this can be done easily now how to do i am just copying the previous query and this row number over this let me give it some alias name i will say as row num row num okay from employee now what we can do is 
I can write a query on top of this saying select select star from this table. This will act like a table. We will give some temporary table name. We will say temp table. Select star from table where row num equal to 5. As simple as that. And this should give me only the record which is having the row number as 5 and that means that we are getting the fifth highest salary. Let me check that. So, okay, instead of this, let me put this. Trying to get the fifth highest salary. Let me run it. And you can see Saurabh Ganguly. And I mean, if you can see my previous, I will do a control Z to see what was my previous result. So you can see fifth one was Saurabh Ganguly, this one. So this is how you can easily get the fifth highest salary, third highest salary or things like that. So you can see that this is really an important function to use. But remember, if I do not give order by here, it won't work because what's the whole point of assigning a row number when it's not ordered in any logical way? It should be first ordered based on some logical way and then we start giving numbers, row numbers. I hope this is clear. Now I will even show you how to partition this also. So let me pick this one and I will tell my problem statement first. The problem statement is, the problem statement is, I want to find the, uh, uh, let's say I want to assign row numbers based on each location. The problem statement is to assign row numbers for each for partitions based on each location. That means there will be some people who are in Bangalore. For example, you can see here Bangalore, Bangalore, right? Third person is from Bangalore. We want to first partition it based on location. That means Bangalore should be one partition. Hyderabad should be another. Pune should be another and then we want to assign the row numbers within each partition, right? So let me show you what I am trying to say and how to achieve it. So I will copy this query, select first name, last name, salary, row number over. Remember order by is something which you have to keep, you cannot remove that. But what we can also do is we can say partition by partition by and what column on is there on which I have to partition by location. I am saying first partition it by location and then order by salary within each partition and then assign row numbers. So let me just try running it and show you the results. Okay. And you can see here. I will give a location column also here, location, okay. Now let me try running this. So you can see this, Bangalore, we have Shane Vaughan, Rahul Dravid and Sachin Sharma, whoever Sachin Sharma is, I do not know. So, but you can see first it has clubbed it into partitions that means Bangalore is one partition then Hyderabad is another partition and then Pune and within each partition it is doing the ordering you can see and then assigning row numbers in case of ties it will take care we do not have to worry right you can see 20,000 20,000 of course it's same so it's assigned one one of it as one and another of it as two that's fine but 10,000 is definitely three in Hyderabad, 30,000 is 1 and 25,000 is 2. In Pune, 15,000 is 1 and 10,000 is 2. So this is why how we have added one more layer of partitioning and then doing the same, assigning the row number. I hope this is clear.
now what if so i will just say salary and location right location also we have added now what if i want to find out the highest salary getters from each location what i want is i want to find the highest salary getters at each location that means in bangalore who is the one who is getting the highest salary in hyderabad which person is getting the highest salary and in pune which person is getting the highest salary what can i do i can take the same query which is there i have written and i can say select so basically i will give or make it as inner query so you can see here select star from this right and let me give this row number some name then only we will be able to filter based on that so i will give some alias let's say as row num and then i am giving this particular thing a temporary table name let's say temp table right so select star from temp table where row number equal to 1 that means in all the partitions we will have i mean so basically what you have seen is whenever the partition changes the row number starts from 1 again you can see for bangalore it has started from 1 for hyderabad again it started from 1 and for pune it again started from 1 so all what we want to pick is all the rows with row number equal to 1 and then definitely we know that we will be able to find the top 3 salary getters i mean the top salary getters from each location right so i will be able to get this row this row and this one let me try uh, running this now to see if it works and if there is any syntax issue we'll solve it so if you see and now let me try running this of course this terminal is a bit cumbersome but it's fine so you can see shane won from bangalore is having the highest salary which is 20000 rohit sharma from hyderabad is having the highest salary in hyderabad which is 30000 and saurabh gangli from pune is having the highest salary in pune with the salary of 15000 right so this is how it becomes very easy to do all of this stuff with row number so all what you have understood is that when we use row number right row number function we should be using the order by clause if you do not use order by it won't work it won't accept at all right the second thing is we can also use the partition by but it is optional it's not that it's compulsory to do partition by is optional and whenever we use partition by the number again starts from 1 for the next partition so the row number starts from 1 for every partition right this is what we have understood and uh, with this you should have got a fair enough idea on what is the role of row number and how to use it and what are the problem statements we can solve you can totally understand one thing that if you are not ordering it then assigning a row number and then doing anything does not make any sense and why i have emphasized on this row number so much is because i mean in your sql interviews this is super important definitely sometimes we feel it's easy but we are not able to answer it or know the right use case to it right so make sure you learn this well and this can be really really handy when you go for interviews or even when you start working on your projects on real time scenarios so with this i feel we can wind up the session and i hope you liked it thanks a lot